Okay, so um, let's talk about the square first. So we added one, a length of one to each side. Yep. Okay, so what happened to the perimeter? So the perimeter is now, well since the side length is now two, the perimeter is eight. Okay. The perimeter is doubled. The perimeter doubled. Interesting. And what about the area? The area is now four, so the area quadrupled. Interesting. Okay. Now, this one might be a little bit harder with the area, but what happened to your perimeter when we added my, one to it? My perimeter, well, my perimeter doubled two, so that's now six. Okay, so it went from three to six? Yep. Can you figure out what happened to your area? Well, my area, I think my area, I think my area might double two. Okay, how come? Because it's one half the base, the base double and the height double. Okay. Well, I think it quadrupled. Okay, why? Because you have twice the, twice the base and twice the height. Okay, so we have a controversy about the area on this one. Hmm. What do you think? Can you look at it and see? Is, well, it, is it two times or is it four times? We talked about scaling and with the square, if you scale the perimeter up, you, you, can, you have to scale the area up too. And then we scaled it in the way that, I mean, with the, we would multiply. So we would multiply, so it would be, so the area would be, if you, if you multiply the side length by two, you would multiply the area by four. Okay, interesting. Can, maybe there's a way to see four of your smaller equilateral triangles in there, right. so you can really see. Maybe if you put an equilateral triangle. Yeah, why don't you do that real quick? And I can I could also put the four smaller squares in mine. Sure, that's fine. Go ahead. So the area now doubles this. There. So so what happened to your area of that triangle? So the area quadruples since there's four of them. Interesting. So we can see, we can actually see four so triangles there. X to 4X. They went from X to 4X. Lay down flat on the ground. It's easier for the camera to see it. Okay, good. So here we took the, the perimeter, the side length from 1 to 2. The perimeter of the triangle went from 3 to 6, and the area went from X to 4X. Yep. On the square, the when the side length went from 1 to 2, the perimeter went from 4 to 8 and the area went from 1 to 4. Okay, now we're going to make the perimeter be 3. Or, sorry, the side length be 3. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay. 